So let me start explaining the motivation of our work. The use of organic radicals in principle, what we our motivation is to use such such a molecules for spintronics. And why we are interested? Because they are organic molecules and they show weak spin um, orbit coupling and hyperfin interactions, for which it is expected the spin coherence over time and distance very, very low at least longer, sorry, than the inorganic materials. And why radical molecules? Because there is a, a study, prediction, that organic radicals may act as spin filters if they work in coherent tunneling regime. So for this reason, we want to use the radicals. And for doing our final objective is just to use solid device made with organic radicals, either single molecule junction or mo junctions made with self-assembly monolayers to make a spin filtering. But before doing such an objective, long-term objective, we decided to study the transport through these junctions. So this, the transport through this single molecule junction made with one single radical molecule or with this collection of radicals in, in a self-assembly monolayer. And for as a radical, we choose these radicals because different reasons. First, it's quite easy to functionalize, to put some linkers to make chemistry. And uh, these molecules are extremely persistent and stable. You can handle as any organic molecules. They have an additional interesting point that you can obtain a very, very similar molecule without spin, like this, this H radical. There has been measured the coherent times. This kind of molecule shows very large, uh, long coherence times of more than one microsecond. And also because they have a propeller-like conformation, they, they are chiral, intrinsically chiral, and it's possible to separate the two enantiomers and doing with work with these two, two enantiomers. So let me show the first example of the charge transport through, those, through this one of these single radical molecules. For that, we obtain it, we synthesize these two molecules, the radical molecule ending with these two groups in order to link to gold uh, leads, and also the equivalent non-radical molecule with hydrogen atom in the carbon instead of on per electron here, in order to compare and to see what happens, which is the role of the radical in the transport. For, for doing such a study, we collaborate with Herre and Enrique Bursuri, and they use mechanically controlled brake junctions and electron migrated brake junctions, as, she, as he explained it before. These are the conducting brick traces of two radicals, junctions, one in green and another in, in red. And you can see this plateau corresponds to the molecule that it's in a different position, different extension, different deformations. And it is possible to measure in for each of these conformations the differential conductance here are the differential conductance of three of these plateaus here. And you can see there is a background of the current of the differential conductance, different. And overlapping with this, there is this zero bias anomaly. And that means that the transport here is through two different channels. One channel is very dependent, the background transport change a lot with the stretching of the molecule, that is the deformation of the molecule. And the other channel is responsible of this zero bias anomaly, and it looks quite independent of the stretching of the molecule. And if we did exactly the same experiments with the non-radical molecule, we obtain this, these three traces in which you can see they also different differential 
conductance, different values, but there is no zero bias. So that means that the, the, the radical character produces this, this zero bias anomaly. And to, to ascribe the nature of that, our colleagues did the experiments in, in electromigrated brake junctions, work changing the temperature and changing the magnetic field and ascribing this, this uh, zero bias anomaly to a condo resonance because of the interaction of, the, of this unpaired electron with the current through the goals. And this is the, the, the condo temperature of these radicals is 3 point case, and the onset of conduct splitting is around 1.2 tesla. So, for, for explaining the results, we give the following explanation. So, the, 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 conductor, the conductor's background is produced by, this, by a sumo-assisted transport channel, and it is this sumo orbital here, it's delocalized in the molecule, so it's quite sensitive to the deformation of the molecules as theoretical calculations also demonstrate. And the other channel is assisted by the SOMO orbital, in which is, this orbital is mostly localized in the central carbon atom, and for this reason it's, uh, it's, it's quite insensitive to the stretching of, of the molecule. So, we did also study similar study with other linkers, like in this case, instead of these thiophene groups in the two uh, extremes in, as, as a linker, we use these this acetyl, this uh, alkene groups here, and because they also link to gold surfaces, and this was the results of, 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 of a comparison of the result. This is the result of the previous example of the radical with the thiophenes. And you can see here in 1D uh, graph here, there is a, a spread of the conductance values. So the conductors are spread at, uh, out, and this is a signature of a weaker gold sulfur bonds that it's not so well defined. By contrast, in this, in this case, it is also the conductors are more localized instead of here. And so that means that the, this carbon atom gold, it's a sigma gold carbon bonds, are more robust and have less va variability of conductance values. And in this case, also, we detected a zero bias uh, correlation for the, th this particular uh, molecule. Let's move on the, on the transport of self-assembly monolayer junctions. This work was made in collaboration with Christian and Yuan Li in Singapore. And here we compare the transport of these self-assembly junctions with these non-radical SAM junctions. As a junction, we design it in the, 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 the following characteristics. So the, the head was one of the radicals, or the, the equivalent non radical, connected to, to the gold surface by this, this long alkyl chain, because uh, in that way the two heads are decoupled from the, electro, the bottom electrode because of this long alkyl chain and warranties the same work function for both junctions. At the same time, this kind of linkers permits to change the distance of the head with respect to the goal, and also that since the two uh, heads has almost similar contacts with the metal, the, the top contact metal, then the, the interactions are via Van der Waals quite similar. So for this reason, it, it is possible to ascribe the com with the comparison of the transport of the two sums the role of the radical with the respect to the non-radical. And we obtain the two, the, 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 the sums. We obtain three different sums, changing the number of carbon atoms of the linkers in order to get information of the transport, as you will see. By the typical way, we did the same with the non-radical. We obtain uh, these uh, six uh, self-assembly monolayers, and then we characterize 
two different things that it's important if you want to compare the, the, the two families of, of, of junctions. One is the supramolecular structure that we did with angle resolved XPS in this with these experiments. We, 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 we estimate that the, the molecular densities of the two different families are quite similar of both. And also with angle resolved XPS with the sulfur spectra, we see that the molecules are the, the thickness of the self-assembly monolayer can be estimated with this spectra and scales with the number of carbon atoms of the alkyl chain. So, and this also indicates that the molecules are standing up instead of flying uh, down to, to the surface. So, this and other techniques permits to say that both families, the radical and the non-radical SAMs, have the same supramolecular structure. But even more interesting is the electronic character structural character determination for this. Here is the UPS, which permits to have a look on the occupied levels that you can see here. This is the three UPS spectra of the radical SAMs that you see here a band that corresponds to the SOMO orbital and this to the, to the OMO, in this case, in the radical. In the non-radical SAM, it is only observed the HOMO one and not the SOMO, because this is a non-radical one. And for the non-occupied radicals, it was used the next halves, in which you can see here the SUMO. This peak here corresponds to the SUMO orbital and the other ones to the LUMO, and it, the SUMO is not observed in the non-radical, and the, the rest of the peaks here are similar in both. So this, with this information, it is possible to have a, a energy diagrams of the frontier orbitals of both kind of, of SAMs. Here is the, the energies of the frontier orbital corresponding to the non-radical SAMs. That the most interesting point here is that the gap, the HOMO-LUMO gap is almost 4 eV. By contrast, in the radical SAMs, this, the equivalent uh, gap is, corresponds to the SOMO and SUMO, that is half the value. But even more important is that the gap between the SUMO and the Fermi level of the goal is 0.5 eV, as you will see, is responsible of, the, of a property of this. So the, for the measurements, it was used liquid E gain in order to avoid deformations and as a soft electrode. And here is the charge transport measurements, the current densities of the radical in red and non-radical in, in black. So you can see here, in, both, in all cases, the radical is toward, the, the current densities of the radicals are two orders of magnitudes higher than the non-radical ones. And at, this, at the same time, it is observed that the current density in both families decreases exponentially for larger change, a fact that suggests that the charge transport mechanism is the coherent tunneling regime for both families of SAMs. Here and we uh, confirm this 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 mechanism by temperature study of, of of the current densities here. You can see it's are completely flat, so that means that it's a coherent tunneling mechanism. And according with that, this is the decay of, of according with the distance, and these are the values here are the the transport is through this coherent tunneling mechanism in both kind of, of SAMs. And the difference and the more important parameter that influences the, the, the current density is the pre-exponential factor that it's larger for the radical sub, the radical junction instead of, in comparison with the non-radical one. And this can this can be explained because the transport in these in this radical SAMs occurs because there is a SUMO-assisted coherent tunnel transport because there is a higher transmission probability that, re that it's induced by this gap between the, the work function of, 
of, of the electrode and the, the, sumo, the sumo level. And, but if you see carefully the properties of one of these, these some junctions, you see that there is no rectification. Also, in, in, in comparison with what has been observed with other SAMs having similar electronic structure, so they have an electroactive group as a head and an alkyl chain, as here, in this case is a donor, in this case is an acceptor, but in principle, they are very similar in this sense. So this is surprises that uh, a, a radical, this kind of SAMs are not rectifying. So what happened is, in these cases, this is an efficient transport of electrons in both senses, and we ask ourselves, is it possible to keep the efficient transport of these radicals, but killing the transport in one sense, or defavoring one, one of the transport and maintaining, while maintaining the other one larger. And for this, we take advantage of previous, previous results, like this, for example, in which they, they make a rectifier using a donor acceptor diet, like here, and this provides a, a, a nice way to, to get a rectification in the transport of the electron. So the idea was to make a, a donor acceptor diet using the radicals as, as an acceptor unit and put here a donor unit uh, coupled with this in order to get this donor acceptor self-assembly monolayer. We did that, we obtained the sums with the radical and also in order to compare the properties, the non-radical one, and we characterize the supramolecular structure as, we, as I showed you before, and both sums have the same surface density of molecules, the same coverage, let's say, and also we determine the electronic structure of the, of the frontier orbitals. Here is the gap of the non-radical uh, sum, and here is the gap of the radical sum. In this case, the gap is formed by the sumo and the homo of, of, the, of the donor. And we make, we measure the transport, and in this case, we succeed. As you can see here, there is, there is some rectifications. In this case, it's around 100 of rectification. And, but in the radical case, we fail completely. So in, uh, here is observed again that the radical, the, 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 the current density of the radical is two orders of magnitude higher than the non-radical one, but the rectification is not observed instead of in, in the case of the non-radical that it's observed. So we fail with that and we explain this, this fact because in this case, the, for the non-radical, there is a, in, a negative bias values, there is sequential tunneling. In contrast, the radical sum, there is always, a, in the window of the electrodes, there is always orbitals that kills this kind, this possible rectification and transmit the, 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 the transport efficiently in both, in both senses. So we fail in this manipulation, but as you will see, this, this SAMS has another property and that I would like to, to, to detail more deeply. Um, here is just a calculation of that uh, explain that in this case is because of, of this, the presence of, of this uh, orbital. So you will see this uh, SAMS permits to manipulate the work function at probably you know that the work function of a metal is just the thermodynamic work required to remove a, an electron from inside to the electron to, to, the, uh, to a state of rest in the vacuum near the surfaces. And this can be, this depends of the 
Fermi level of the metal, but also in the electrostatic potential in the vacuum nearby the metal surfaces. So, if you add a layer, a polar layer of a sum, for example, in the top of, of, of the metal, then you can modify the work function, and the work function is shifted according with the, the electrostatic potential that is mod modified by the sum. This kind of of manipulation of work function is important because the efficiency of many electronic molecular electronic devices like OFETs, OPVs, and so are dictated by the charge injection barriers. So here is the, the whole barrier that can be, and this is the barrier of the electrons that has between an electrode and organic layer, and this can be manipulated for example, if you put a sum with a positive interfacial dipole, then you can shift this and you can enhance the efficiency of the device and you can do the opposite for the electrons injection with a negative interfacial dipole. For our sums, since they are donor acceptor sums, we knew, because we have been working with this kind of molecules during a few years, that these molecules exist in the neutral state in which the radical is located in, the, in this part, in the red part. But if you irradiate, for example, or you change the solvent, then what happens is that you favor this sweeter ionic state in which the electron is transferred from the donor to the acceptor. And then you increase the dipole moment of this molecule. And this can be done just by irradiation, for example, at the near infrared, in which you, what you are doing is jumping the electron from this state to, to the sweeter unit state, and this increases the, uh, the dipole moment of the molecule. And this phenomenon is not occurring in the, in the non-radical derivatives, similar to the radical one, because the non-radical head is not an acceptor. So, the idea was to use these sums to modify the work function of the surfaces. And this can be done, in principle, by irradiating the, the sum with the wavelength, the proper <coughs> wavelength, because you will induce an increase of the dipole moment because of the formation, or part of the formation, of this sweeter ionic state. And on the, the dark, you switch back to the neutral state. And this is, so the first thing we did was to measure carefully the uh, work function by the contact the potential difference using Kelvin proof force microscopy. And we measured the, the work function of these three, this we use for, for reference. And this is the, the shift of the work function with respect to the, the, the Christine Gold, that is, has this value, and in the case of the non-radical, has this value, it changed, and because of the presence of the, the dipole, and in the case of the radical, it also gives this, and these values are in complete agreement with the theoretical calculations because of the polarizability of the molecules and the depolarization effects that is very well known. So, the next step was to try to measure the, this uh, the, by using uh, the electrical potential generated by the Kelvin proof force microscopy. Here, and in order to understand the results, it is necessary to remark here that these diets have a permanent dipole and are polarizable. And, for example, when you put this applied bias here, the electrical field polarizes the molecules in that way, and when you decrease the applied bias, this is changing, and in the opposite side, there is a decrease of, because of the polarizability of the molecule, and you can do this reversible. And if you do 
this many times you obtain the, the, the average values of this of the phase and the amplitude of the Kelvin force microscope. And here you can see in both cases there is a, a hysteresis that is produced because of the polarizability and also because of the presence of intermolecular dipole interactions that fa favors this hysteresis here. And the values here is for the non-radical is plus 50 milliEV and for the other one is 20 milliEV. So what we did was this, we measure under the dark, we obtain this value and we illuminate with 250 nanometers in the near infrared and then the uh, hysteresis is closed and the value of the work function ship increases one order of magnitude from 20 to 200 and this is because, because of the increase of the favoring the suterionic state because of this of the ir irradiation and in the case of the non-radical nothing happens with the same irradiation so that means that the molecule remains the same and there is no change. So in order to confirm if this to know if this switchability is reversible. We did this several times with the same kind of measurements and you can see here in the, in the dark you have this value. When you illuminate you have a higher value, you close and at least it's quite reversible in few, in few cycles. And why this is interesting, this switchability is reversible because this could be a way to, to modify reversible and to make photoswitchable work functions using the radical that could be used for favoring the, 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 the barrier, for decreasing the barrier of the electron uh, transport. So now we are, work, we are working, trying to put one of these self-assembly monolayer in an organic electronic device, in particular in OFET. So, as a conclusion, let's say that the radical sums junctions are significantly more conducting, so they are two orders of magnitude more conducted than the equivalent non-radical. So, this is produced because of this accessible sumo radical that is close to the work functions. In the case of the non-radical, we obtain this rectification, acceptable rectification, values, by contrast, in the non-radical, in the radical ones, the presence of the sumo orbital that here is responsible of an increase of the efficiency of the transport here kills the possible rectification because of the presence of this or orbital in between the, wind, the Fermi window of the two electrodes. And finally, that this kind of radicals can be used as a photoswitchable work functions with, um, if you put them on the top of, a, of an organic. So let me thank the people who have been involved in my group, that is all these people, and also the collaborations that we make with the group of Herre, the group of Christian, and also the group of Jerome Cornil in Mons and Anna Painelli in Parma. And you for your kind attention. <laughs>